Hello everyone and welcome to the Stock Martin channel. I have a great video for you today. We are going to be talking about latest EV news, Rivian. Rivian is that uh, new startup electric vehicle company making pickup trucks and this stock has really skyrocketed going up over 66% in just three trading days. We are going to be talking about this and more. Before we get down into it, please if you can give me that thumbs up, the like button, I'll share my videos around YouTube. Help me with that YouTube algorithm. If you are new to the channel, welcome. We would love you to, to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can get all the videos out there. We'd greatly appreciate it. But we are going to be talking about Rivian. I did want to just talk about a few things that I really, really like about the company. Some of the things I really do not like about the company and things that they can improve on. But first, we will get and talk about the good things about this company. So definitely, they do have a very nice product out there, the R1T and the R1S. The R1T is their pickup truck. It was the first company out there that have brought a electric pickup truck to the market. They actually beat out Tesla. The Cybertruck was supposed to be the first electric truck vehicle coming out on the market, but it looks like Rivian had beat them to the punch. Also, they have beat out other companies that are going to be coming out with pickup trucks, such as the Ford Lightning pickup truck. Also, you have General Motors coming out with its Silverado pickup truck and the Hummer pickup truck as well. So definitely Rivian has done a great job of getting this out. Um, their vehicles are very nice, very beautiful. That is one of the things I really like. I actually admire that they have that performance, zero to 60 in three seconds. It can tow up to 11,000 pounds. I mean, these are massive trucks. They can do a massive amount of things. Um, now, where I do have some frustration with the company, and it is uh, it will be seen in time, is their efficiency. These vehicles, if you look at them, they are electron guzzlers. They are using up a lot of electricity. Their efficiency is the least efficient electric vehicle on the market. And I definitely think that this is something that they could approve on. Now, granted, these vehicles are very heavy. They also have four electric motors uh, on the vehicle. They have one per each wheel. Um, so that is going to use up a lot of electricity as well. A lot of the other manufacturers, car makers only have one electric motor, two electric motors, and sometimes even three at the most. But the um, these trucks, uh, the Rivian trucks do have four electric motors, and I think that's one of the reasons why they're not as efficient be but um, since we are talking about electric vehicles and if it's good for the environment making it friendly for the environment i did find this uh, article that just came out that does talk about the rivian r1t that beats its own epa range but it is the least efficient ev that edmunds has ever tested so Edmonds is a you know car reviewer uh, analyst out there that just look at uh, you know cars, and they said that this is the least efficient uh, vehicle that they ever have tested. But um, given that information, um, this vehicle is quite heavy, um, and we have not seen the other pickup trucks out there. So when we think about the GMC Hummer, it is almost uh, nine, a little over nine thousand pounds. We have not seen how efficient it is yet. Um, but we'll definitely have to see how it compares to the Rivian pickup truck. Also, the, uh, the Ford F-150 Lightning will be a little bit smaller, um, and it will be a little bit larger than the Rivian, but um, smaller than the GMC Hummer. But we, again, have not seen its efficiency yet. Now, it is good news that the Rivian R1T does have a nice range um, so right now, whenever they did test it, it ran 317 miles instead of the EPA's number of 314 miles on a single charge, which is about 1% longer. Um, so we'll definitely have to keep this in mind and keep watching it. So we are looking at this, um, but according to this analyst, it is using a lot of kilowatts per 100 miles. Um, it is using about 48 kilowatts per 100 miles driven, which does make this a electron devourer, uh, which means it is very electron hungry. It eats up a lot of electricity. 
um, but it's still more affordable than gas or uh, diesel vehicles out there. But definitely, since we are looking at the best vehicle out there, um, I definitely think that Rivian should and could improve on this in the future. So right now we are looking, um, when we're looking at these companies, what I am looking is what is gonna be in the future. Right now I am looking at the tech race, the technology race. The two leaders out there right now is Tesla and Lucid Motors by far. Um, they have the most efficient vehicle out there, but we'll definitely have to see. I definitely think that there is a place for Rivian out there, especially that they're going to be in delivery vans. Um, Amazon, as you know, is a very big backer of Rivian as the company. It has over 100,000 electric delivery vans already reserved. Um, so this is going to be huge, and I think it's going to open a lot of doors to commercial vehicles that Rivian could make a very nice profit in. Uh, by delivering these electric delivery vans and pickup trucks. For customers, um, definitely, I love their product. I definitely, my favorite is the SUV, the R1S. Um, I was actually looking maybe to even purchasing one. I'll definitely have to see how that goes. But um, looking at its efficiency, it is the least efficient electric vehicle on the market right now, but definitely something that they could improve on in the future. Now, switching gears and talking to you about the stock, the stock did end on Friday at $129.95. We'll call it $130. Just in one day, it went up by 5.7%. Uh, um, it did start off the stock by $128, and we did after hours go all the way up to $132. In the past five days, we are up 20.3% in this stock with its low actually being at $95.20, uh, which briefly, very briefly on that first trading day, it dipped down to uh, $95.20. It did start trading uh, for retail investors on the stock market on November 10th at 1.30 p.m., at $108. There's a lot of people that got into this stock very early on, um, especially the big, huge companies out there. They got this uh, deal. They got this uh, company. They got this share at a steal of a deal, but retail investors got it a lot more expensive. Now, if you were one of the very lucky people that did have a pre-order on the Rivian before uh, September 30th, you were allowed to buy the IPO, the initial public offering at $78 with a maximum of 175 shares. A lot of people that did have these pre-orders did purchase these stocks. So to you, congratulations. You are doing great on this stock. You are up um, possibly about 70% uh, up on your money if you did buy at that $78 price mark. But um, with all of our other people, the other retail investors such as I am, I am still holding, I have not bought a single share of RIVN. In my own opinion, I do think that this is quite overvalued. At these prices that we are right now at $130, we are at a market cap of $110 billion. Now, this huge valuation, in my opinion, I think it is way too overvalued. I think it's way too overpriced. It is valued second to Tesla out there when you look at electric vehicles. It does beat Lucid Motors. Lucid Motors has a valuation market cap of $71 billion, um, but it also beats out General Motors. General Motors right now is at $92 billion. Ford Motor Company is at $77 billion. So right now with a company that is just starting off, it is way, way uh, higher than uh, both of these companies. It is also higher than the Mercedes, uh, the Mercedes company. Um, it So this stock has a huge valuation. I will definitely wait for it to cool down uh, probably in the next two, three weeks. I do believe that this stock will be under $95. I think it is a good deal to get under $80, but we'll definitely have to see how that goes and how the stock market will treat this stock as it is quite high and quite red hot right now. But if you like this video, uh, please give me that thumbs up, the like button, it'll greatly appreciate it. It'll share my video with others. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, notification bell, hit all so you can get all my videos out there. 
Um, also, please take advantage of the links down below. I do have links to Moomoo. If you open an account with putting $0 in there, you will get a free stock share valued up to $350. If you put down any amount of money into this account, you will get a free stock share valued up to $3,500. I actually had one of my viewers email me that they did receive a Tesla stock. Congratulations to that viewer. Um, but you can also put um, more money up to $2,000 into this Moomoo account. Um, and you can get additional three extra free stocks, each valued up to $3,500 for a total of five free stocks with Moomoo. I also have links down below to Weeble, Coinbase, Robinhood. If you do need extra free stocks, use my links down below, or you can get some cryptocurrency as well. Again, thank you so much for all your support for watching my videos. Please continue to share this channel with others around YouTube. Share it with your family, your friends, your coworkers, that next door neighbor. Thank you again for all your support. And I can't wait to talk to you on the next one. Go out there and make some money and have a great weekend. Thank you.